Hey everyone, it's me again. Yeah, um, there's a hurricane going on right now. Um, I'm in Florida. It's my birthday. It's about 10 in the morning right now. And there's a hurricane going on right now. So, it'll, like, what you see outside is actually worse than what you see on the screen. Like, it's literally raining outside. It's windy. It's cold. There's a storm right now. And... Yeah, all of that is happening during today. The day that I'm supposed to be, you know, doing stuff. Like, I made reservations to go to St. Augustine, to this restaurant. I was supposed to go this afternoon, but I had to cancel it and reschedule it because it's not safe to be out driving right now in the streets. Yeah, that's how bad it is. Um, hopefully, things will get better tomorrow. And I'll be able to go tomorrow, which is the 11th, which is Veterans Day. But if it doesn't get better, I'm going to have to reschedule it for a better time. So that's what's going on right now. And it's so bad that like, it's like I'm so used to like, you know, bad things happening that it's like, oh, okay. So we have another hurricane. Okay. You know, it, it's like, it doesn't really phase me. It doesn't bother me. Like, most people would freak out, like, oh my god, what do I do? To me, it's like, um, well, um, I'm still alive. <laughs> and today's my birthday. So that's the reason to celebrate. Today's my birthday, and I'm alive, so I'm going to celebrate. And yes, there's a hurricane right now. And we just had one, too, like a few weeks ago. It was Hurricane Ian. And then now, it's Hurricane Nicole. So it's like... Great, um, there's another one, and we're still recovering from the past one, and now we have another one. So it's like one after another. So I'm at a point where I'm like, you know what, it's going to happen, you know, you just have to prioritize, you know, what's more important, and then you don't freak out like most people do. Like, it's like you have this problem, and then you have that problem, so when you compare them, you're able to see which problem is stupid and which problem is more serious. And then you basically realize, oh, okay, so this problem is more serious and this problem is stupid compared to that problem. Yeah, that's what I mean by you learn how to prioritize what's more important. And other stuff that like most people would see as a problem, to you it's like, okay, that's stupid. You know, like you don't even, you don't even think about that because it's not a problem to you compared to all the other stuff they have to deal with. Yeah. I'm at that point where I'm like, oh, okay, so we have another hurricane. Okay. All right. So it's stormy right now. Okay. It's raining. Okay. Um, it's not safe to be driving on the road. Okay. All right. So I can't go to the restaurant. Okay. Um, today's supposed to be my birthday. Okay, so I won't be able to do that stuff I'm going to do. All right, so I'm going to have to reschedule. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm like that. Like, okay, um, well, if plan A doesn't work, then, then just go with plan B. Yep. <laughs> um, I just came back from the grocery store because I'm like, okay, you know what? It's my birthday. I'm going to get some cake. I'm going to get some ice cream. I'm going to get some food that I want, that I like. Just in case they decide to close down the stores today. And yeah, I'm at that point where I'm like, okay, just in case they do this, I'm going to go do that. And that's what I did. And I'm glad that I went. Because then I don't have to worry about that the rest of the day. And now I'm back and I'm going to do this reading because I've been wanting to do a reading. I've been guided to do another reading. But I was like, you know what, let me uh, let me do that thing first, and then I'll do this when I get back. So I'm doing this. Yep, so it seems like, you know, it's gotten a little better. It's still, it's still rainy, it's still overcast, but compared to like 10 minutes ago, yeah, it died down a little bit. So I'm going to use the RWS deck. And then um, the messages will be from the Romance Angels Oracle. All right, so let me get started. All right, 
three shuffles for the Empress. And I already shuffled this earlier. Look at that, the star card. So yeah, this is being guided. King of Swords. <laughs> Page of Cups. Seven of Cups. Like I noticed like if you don't shuffle them correctly, um, they're not gonna go back together. The Hermit. Like this time around, yeah, see, they're easier. So you have to mix them correctly in order to be able to get it back together again. Knight of Swords. There you go. Seven of Swords. Six of Pentacles. There's a lot of wind going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's like a storm right now and i'm like okay um i'm gonna keep reading yeah Ooh, the death card that is a scorpio card right there so if you have a birthday right now november 10 that means that you have the same birthday as me so happy birthday to you and to me so happy birthday to us yeah so this is our card right here the death card that's actually the Scorpio card, number 13. Yep, that is a Scorpio card. So when you see this card, that means that's a Scorpio. <laughs> wow. And then one more. All right, the Magician. All right, so first card. This one must have come out. Six of Pentacles. So that came out again. So Six of Pentacles, give and take. Think about that, okay? Because it came out twice. King of Pentacles for the second card. Um, that could be a male uh, earth sign. Male Capricorn. So think about that. If it's not a male Capricorn, it's just somebody that uh, is very successful. Okay, so we have um, the chariot. It flipped up, so I'm gonna take that one. Um, so we have all three cards. I'm being told to clarify them. So I'm gonna go again. So clarify the six of pentacles, please. There we go. Strength card. And that's the Leo card, number eight. Yep. Clarify the King of Pentacles, please. Oh, look at that. You saw that. The star card came out. Wow. To clarify the King of Pentacles. And I'm going to clarify the chariot with this. And I don't know what this one is, but I'm going to put it here. And we'll see. Um, clarify the fourth card, please. Because that one, look at that. So... I'm just going to go with this and see what happens. All right, clarify the fifth card, please. Oh my God, the temperance came out to clarify that card. So I'm going to put him back. Yeah, we have all of them. And then the bottom of the deck is page of wands. Um, behind the page of wands is the ace of pentacles. And on the other side is the moon card. And the Queen of Pentacles. So that is the King of Pentacles uh, counterpart match. All right, let me put this away. Okay. Um, all right, so the Chariot, what about it? Clarified by the Page of Swords. And then the fourth card is, wow, five of wands, so conflict. And that's clarified by the Hermit. So this came out again. So think about that, okay? The Hermit, because it came out twice. And then this card, the fifth one, is clarified by the Temperance. So what is this card? Oh my gosh, the world. 
So the world card is the last card from the major arcana. So you have a zero with the full all the way to 21, which is the world card. So the so number 21, the world card is completion. So you Scorpio, yeah, this is another Scorpio reading. Yeah, you are you are reaching completion. You are very close to completing completion. So completing this cycle, completing this journey, and just completing this whole process. So hang in there because you're almost done with this, okay? All right, let me um let me let me get the message for for you. So a message for you and a message for the person on your mind. So let me do um flirt. Let me do four shuffles for the emperor. You deserve love. Honeymoon. Ooh, new love. Okay. So, a message for you. Past life relationship. Oh, wow. So, the person that you're dealing with. You, you have known each other before, okay? So you have a past life with this person. Yeah. So you have a history with this person. It may not be in this lifetime, but you shared a previous life with this person. And that may be why this person feels familiar to you and you have a connection. All right. Um, message for that person on your mind right now. Calling in your soulmate. Oh my God. Calling your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Wow. I was not expecting that. And bottom of the deck is flirt. So you saw that again. So flirt came up twice. So think about that, okay? Flirt. All right, let me put this away. And um, let, me, let me pull up all the cards that came out. And you know what? I'm being guided to pull out two Lenormand cards. Okay, so let me let me do two shuffles. They're really small. Oh my gosh. And let me. Okay. All right. So um. First card is Stork. Second card is House. All right. Bottom of the deck is Crossroads. All right, let me put this back. Okay. So let me show you the ones that did come up, okay? So we have six of pentacles. King of pentacles. Uh, the chariot. Five of wands. And the world card. Okay. Clarified by Shrink, Star, Page of Swords, the Hermit, and Temperance. Okay. Let me fix that real quick so that um, I can read them. Yeah, it stopped raining, so it got better. It's still overcast, so I'm glad that I'm inside the house. Um, all right, so uh, for your message is past life relationship. 
And for your person's message, is calling in your soulmate. And then um, the first Lenormand card that came out is Stork. And the second Lenormand card is House. All right. All right, let me put them together. So um, Six of Pentacles is about give and take. And the Strength card came out. Okay, what I'm getting is that your strength is your ability to give. Okay, that's your strength. Like, you're able to give without expecting anything to return. It's just natural for you to be giving, um, to see someone happy, to want someone to be happy. And that's, that's what makes you strong. Because... You know, you're very optimistic. So it's like no matter how bad things get, you always look at the bright side and you always try to figure out how can how can this get better? What's the bright side of this? What is the positive in the situation? So what I'm getting is that because you're a giver and you could be Leo, I'm a Leo. Um, yeah, so Six of Pentacles is about give and take. So, yeah, you are, you give. You're a natural giver. But just be aware that if you're giving, but you're not receiving anything in return, then it's okay to pull back. It's okay to not give anymore. Yeah. And if you're doing a lot of giving, but you're not getting anything in return, Sometimes you do have to move on because that person chooses not to give back to you and they choose not to change. So sometimes you're going to have to release that person and move on without that person because if you wait for that person to change, you could just waste your time. When you could have just moved on without that person and you could have you could have started over with someone better someone that makes you happy okay somebody that gives back that's what i'm getting and then the king of pentacles came out and that was clarified by the star so the king of pentacles could be a male um capricorn it's just it's someone um he's also a father figure um, he's all about family. He's a very hard worker. Um, he likes to provide a home, um, abundance, comfort. You know, he, he yeah, he, he's a giver. He provides. So when it comes to the King of Pentacles, you don't have to worry about that because it's natural for him to provide for you. So you don't have to worry about where to stay and um, money and success and abundance and wealth and all that because you know it comes naturally for him so what I'm getting is that um, wow it's really windy right now oh my gosh wow oh my god it's like the rain may have stopped but it is really windy wow Okay, so what I'm meaning is that um, you're going to be abundant because it's part of your destiny and you're guided to become abundant. Basically, yeah, you're going to be abundant because you're guided and you know how to be abundant. You know how to be in the King of Pentacles energy. So what I mean is that you're, you're, you're going to be abundant. So you're going to be successful. You're going to, whatever that is, whatever that abundance is, you're going to get it. And just know that you're being guided. So if you need help, just know that you have it. So just ask for help when you need it, okay? And that's why the star card came out because you're guided. And if you need help, just ask 
and they're ready to help you, okay? So the chair came out, so that has to do with movement. Um, two opposing forces work together to create movement. So there has to be some type of balance in order for movement to happen. Um, this could also mean that there could be travel involved or maybe the person lives on another part of the world, the country, whatever. So the Page of Swords came out to clarify the chariot. So the Page of Swords could be a child that's an air sign. Um, if that's not the case, a male earth sign child, if that's not the case, then it's just someone that wants to know. So basically you want to know if there's going to be movement in the situation. And I'm hearing yes. There's going to be movement. Either you wait for movement or you make movement happen. So in the end, it's your choice. If you wait for someone else to make a move, you might be waiting for a long time. If you don't want to wait anymore, then you move. If you're not seeing any movement from this person, then you move away. That's movement. I hope that makes sense. Yeah. So if you don't want to win anymore, then you can make a movement by moving on. That's what I'm hearing. And um, the five of wands came out. So yeah, that's conflict. And the hermit card came out to clarify that. So what I'm hearing is that you don't want to be a part of that conflict because you're used to it, you've seen it, and you don't want to you don't want to be a part of that conflict, drama, whatever. There are people that are fighting, arguing, whatever, worried about stuff that like to you it's like stupid because you've been there, you've done that, and you don't want to go through that anymore. So one way to avoid that is when you see that happening, before it happens, you walk away from that. You go into the hermit mode. So you walk away from the conflict and you protect yourself by being alone. So instead of moving towards the conflict, you move away from it by walking away from it and by being alone so that you can protect yourself and you're not a part of that conflict, okay? And um, the last card is the world card. And this is clarified by um, temperance. So I'm hearing is that you're very close to the end, but it hasn't ended yet. So you're at the very last stage of the journey. And before you reach completion, you're going to have to be balanced. That's the goal. To reach balance before you finish this cycle. Before you finish this journey. Alright, that's what I'm getting. And if you need help with balance, just ask for help. And they will help you. And one of those types of, types of help is an angel will help you. Just ask for help and you will get it, okay? And um, the message for you is, yeah, the person that you're dealing with could be someone from the past. So you could share a past life with this person. And you, and that would, that would explain, yeah, how you know this person. So you may have known each other before. And for the person on your mind, their message is, calling in your soulmate. So this person on your mind could be one of your soulmates. And that would explain a lot of things. Yeah. Because if you shared a past life with this person and you met each other now, so yeah, that's your soulmate. That person chose to share that lifetime with you and they chose to share this lifetime with you again. So yeah, that's your soulmate. And um, Stork came out. So what I'm seeing is that um, good news. Yeah. 
good news is coming and you could also have a new home so you could you could be moving from your current home into another one and wherever you're moving to that could be more peaceful and yeah house because i'm seeing house yes you could be relocating from this house into another so you could be changing houses and that house is going to be a better fit for you and your needs okay so that's what i'm getting um i hope i helped you in some way and um i'll talk to you again soon